We've got clinical case. A 45-year-old woman presents with a six-month history of chronic watery diarrhea. She reports having up to 10 large volume bowel movements per day, which persist even when she fasts for 24 hours. She has also experienced intermittent fascial flushing and nuanced wheezing. Physical exam is unremarkable. A colonoscopy was performed, was normal. Uh -huh. So, the, the, pre, the pre, persistence of the, her large volume diarrhea during fasting is a key clue, absolutely. This finding is most characteristic of which type of diarrhea? Uh -huh. Osmotic diarrhea, no. Inflammatory diarrhea, no. Secretory diarrhea, yes. Secretory one. Malabsorptive diarrhea, no. So, uh, of course, it's a secretory one. So, this question tests the ability to differentiate the major pathophysiological types of diarrhea based on a key historical feature. The patient's full clinical picture is a classic, though rare, of course, presentation of so-called carcinoid tumor. So, secretory diarrhea is caused by a substance like a bacterial toxin, or in this case, a hormone, that actively stimulates the intestinal the cells to secrete massive amounts of electrolytes like chloride and water into the gut lumen. So the key, the key differentiator, the hallmark of secretory diarrhea is that it is independent of oral intake. The gut is being actively told to pump out fluid. Therefore, the diarrhea persists during fasting. The full picture, so carcinoid syndrome, the other symptoms, fascial flushing and wheezing, are caused by the visoactive substances like serotonin and histamine secreted by the carcinoid tumor. This triad of secretory diarrhea, flushing, and bronchospasm is a classic for carcinoid syndrome. So why the other options are incorrect? Osmotic diarrhea. This type of diarrhea is caused by the presence of poorly absorbed osmotically active substances in the gut which draw water into the lumen. A classic example is a lactose intolerance. The key feature of osmotic diarrhea is that it stops when the patient fasts because of because the offending substance is no longer being consumed. This is the opposite of our patient's case. Next, inflammatory diarrhea. This is caused by inflammation and damage to the intestinal li lining as seen as inflammatory bowel disease, like ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease. It's a typically associated with blood and mucus in the stool and abdominal pain. A colonoscopy would be abnormal, showing inflammation and ulcers. And malabsorption diarrhea. This is caused by the impaired absorption of fats and other nutrients as seen as celiac disease or pancreatic insufficiency. It classically leads to steatorrhea, greasy, full-smelling, floating stools, and weight loss. When a patient has a large volume watery diarrhea uh, that doesn't stop with flushing, a high DL takeaway, you must suspect exactly a secretory process. This should trigger a workup for less common causes, including neuroendocrine tumors like a carcinoid or vipoma, bile acid malabsorption, or microscopic colitis. Stay blessed.